guys, I'm Mary. I'm Brittany. And in today's video, we are doing a review and first impressions of the Huda Beauty, what's this called? Faux Filter Foundation. Yay, it's brand new. It just came like two days ago? Yeah, two it just ago? released, so we got it our hands on it as soon as we possibly could. This is the last one in our shade. Well, we don't really share a shade, but we're gonna make it work for the two of us. I couldn't find a color that matches me perfectly right now because I still have a little bit of a tan. But I'm going to get paler because we live in Canada. So I bought a shade that's like a little lighter for me. So hopefully I can like grow into it. And we're going to try it now and make it work. Yeah, and I'm a little bit lighter anyway. So it would probably match me more than her right now. But that's okay. And we haven't tried it at all yet. This is our first time trying it. And it's going to be on camera. So you guys can see how it, how it goes, how it wears. We're going to be adding how it wears for us like throughout the day at the end in the description. Just because we're just not going to like film all the way through it. But yeah, we'll update you guys and let you know how it is and how it applies and what whatnot. So I have dry skin, dry dehydrated skin. And I have like pretty normal skin. I yeah. have combination skin. I don't have dry or oily. It's kind of a little bit of both. So you guys can see how it works for both of us and see what your skin does with it too. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So first things first, let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is cute. I love the packaging. I love the writing in pink. It's a really cute box and it has like a little bit of a faded ombre here. And then on the inside it says, express your selfie, which I think is really cute. It's backwards, but it's really cute. That's cute. Also the shade range is really, really good for this line of foundation. Yeah, it came with lots of shades. They have shades for light, light, light skin tones and very deep skin tones. It's great. It's a really good range. And then this is the packaging of the bottle. It kind of has like that ombre thing that the outside box had. I'm obsessed with the top. It's got that matte like soft touch. Soft touch, yeah. NARS packaging. It's so bomb and the pump is really good too. And it has a pump. Which everybody loves. I love that So, yeah. And once again, I'm in the shade Chai. Yes. So I'm going to be um, using a beauty blender to apply my foundation because that's what I normally do. And I'm going to be using a flat top brush because typically that's what I do. So we're going to see how it goes either way. Yeah. So I'm going to read the directions on the back. It says, using a pump or less, apply foundation evenly over the face with a dense brush or beauty sponge. So you can use both. For best application, pair with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. So it came with this. I didn't even realize I was just looking at it. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use yeah. it either. It's just I'll just use my regular primer to see like how it would do if I wore it on a normal day. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. I want to use like my normal primer. This is just, yeah, we're just going to kind of put that off to the side. It's just a little sample anyways. But yeah, so I'm going to use... We're going to try it out now. We're going to prime our face and we'll be right back. Okay, so we just primed. I used the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which is typically what I use on a daily basis. And I use the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer, which I used to use, don't really use all the time anymore, but any pore filler primer is what I normally use. So now we're gonna try it out. Yeah, let me my beauty blender. So I'm gonna be using this brush. It's just a flat top brush. I actually got it from eBay and it was really cheap and for the price, it's very good. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques um, makeup sponge. Miracle Complexion Sponge, actually. Oh God. <laughs> So we're gonna take like a pump each. And yeah, I don't really know goes. how much. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Oh god, this color is not gonna match me. Well, we're gonna find out. Here's the color up here. And just for reference, my usual shade right now is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Y365. So if you can get color matched on Sephora from that, you can probably figure out your shade. So we're gonna go in. Oh, the color's actually good for me. Is it? I think it's a little too light for me. Okay, so apparently this is supposed to be really high coverage. Oh, the scent. I don't 100% see that yet. This has a really, I don't, oh yeah, it's yeah. perfumey. This has a really intense scent. I'm not sure it how smells I feel like it. soap. Yeah, it yeah this like is not any florally. So this is not as high coverage as I anticipated it to be. Um, I don't know if that's just me. Um. Yeah, it didn't really cover up my like scarring on my face that well, but I uh, like any uh, like I have some redness today. My skin's really red today, and it's not really doing much for that. But that's okay. Oh, I really hate this scent. I don't do um, high coverage foundations normally, anyways. I'm not a foundation wearer. I like to wear BB cream or CC cream. I'm used so, to the Makeup Forever, which is like a medium coverage, but I feel like even that has like yeah, this coverage is not very good. I'm not a fan. But I feel like it kind of looks like thick. 
Let also, me... I don't really like the way it's sitting on my face right, right? now. Right? Like, doesn't it look like it's just sitting on top? Yeah, I feel like it's emphasizing what it's not supposed to be. And I think the color is too light for me. But we already knew that. The color's a little... Okay, also one pump with a beauty, uh, with a makeup sponge, not going very far. Gotta get I one. still have a little bit left on my hand, and um, I'm pretty much done my face. I need another pump. Oh. Like maybe half a pump? Maybe one and a half pumps. Yeah. For a beauty sponge? Yeah. Because they do soak up a lot more, so... Fair. It's okay, it's not horribly applying, but I just don't like the way it's sitting on my skin right now. Like, yeah, it doesn't... I could, it's like I could see it sitting on top. Yeah, which I do not like at all. Also, it's matte. I'm not a fan of matte foundation. Well, like, I don't think it's matte. Maybe it was your prim... Well, maybe it was my primer because mine has like... Uh, no, satin. I think it... No, because I always use matte primers even with... um dewy finish foundations and they still bring out a dewy finish so this is more of like a uh satiny matte yeah, kind of thing because I, I have like a little bit of like doing this but i used a hydrating primer because i have dry skin so like i mean i feel like it looks good on camera but in person it does not look nice maybe we'll zoom up here so you can see wow it really looks airbrushed which i heard it's supposed to look super airbrushed in like photography and stuff yeah, it looks like Let's that on camera, but it doesn't really look like that in person at Let's all. Let's take a selfie and see okay. what it looks like. Let me just come back in. Hold on. We're going to take a selfie and see how... Oh, and we'll also take one with flash to see if it has any flashback. Yeah, we'll take a selfie and see how it looks in pictures. It does look really airbrushed. Yeah, it looks good in pictures, but I don't now know. Now we'll test flash. In person, I don't like it. Yeah, now we're going to test the flash and see. No, no flashback. No, no flashback, so that's good. So if you want to wear it at night, it's good. I'm just not a fan of the way it's making my skin look. I guess it's just because I'm used to... If there's one thing you guys have to know about me is that I don't buy expensive foundation because I don't, I don't believe that a lot of them are worth it. And this foundation, how oh yeah, we forgot to tell how much did we pay for it. Um, I believe with tax it came out to 60 something. I can so check my... pretty pricey. Yeah. I think it was $50 and then plus tax it came up to just over $60. Yeah, so I'm not a fan of the way this looks on my skin. Oh, it's kind of creasing in my smile lines, which is not typical for me. Like, I never... I didn't realize I had a couple of breakouts down here, but <laughs> apparently I do according to this foundation. So as of right now, yeah, like it's literally making me like look like I don't like it. I don't think. No, it's gross. Anyways, we're gonna put on the rest of our makeup and we'll come back with our final thoughts. Yes, exactly. Okay, I look okay. straight orange. We're back. Actually, the color like once I blended it out, I feel like it was okay. Color didn't work for me at all. Yeah, you look Way. orange. Yeah, because I have pinkier undertones. This, but this shade has yellow undertones. For me, it looks okay. But. I have to say my final thoughts are I'm disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed. It's not good. My skin like doesn't have a lot of texture and this foundation is making me have texture. <laughs> like it's not, no. Like I have texture but this really emphasizes it to me and the smell lingers on your face and like it's giving me a headache. I can, the problem with me is that I can feel, I don't have like overly sensitive skin or anything but I can feel the foundation on my skin and I don't like that feeling. Yeah. I like weightless foundation. You can feel this. It feels heavy like it feels like there's something on my face and I don't like that I can notice it in its defense it did start to look better the more we added product but at the same time it's still not my favorite and I don't think it was not worth the money it does not have my stamp of approval nope I think we're gonna I think I'm gonna return it yeah it's not nothing I'm gonna use nothing she's gonna use no no so that was our final verdict. Yeah, hopefully it's a little better Thumbs for down. you if you use it. Maybe it'll be a little bit better, but I would say, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend Maybe it. Maybe someone for oily skin would like it, um, but as a person with dry skin and normal skin, we found it too heavy. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll put in our description down below what we think of it. For as we wear it and see if it gets better. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll leave everything down below what we thought of it after we wear it for a bit. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.